Hello and you're very welcome along to the first ever episode of Highland Radio Carpool Karaoke with me David James and some very special guests over the next coming months. We want to say a big thank you to our friends at DMG Motors because they have very kindly sponsored us this brand new beautiful Skoda Kodiak. We are just on the way to pick up our first ever Highland Radio Carpool Karaoke guest so stay tuned to find out who it could be. Just you yourself comfortable. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend, Connell Gallon is here beside me. <laughs> Connell, what's the crack? I haven't seen you since Spain. It's, it's what do you call it? Calpe in Cal Spain. Calpe. In Spain. I was there for a while. You, you were there for a while, all right. You were there for about what? You must have only been there for 12 hours. Yeah, I've something like you. that, yeah. I mean, but yeah. It's so, Connell, do you know what I was wondering? And, you know, like whenever you ask different country singers how they get under music, it's similar for me, like because music was, say, always in our house. Yeah. But how does a man get into comedy? Um, well, in my case, by pure accident. Is that so? Yeah, well, it, uh, sort of by accident. Um, it, it started off uh, um, in amateur drama, and I didn't even want to be in amateur drama. Uh, I called for a friend of mine. Uh, he was in amateur drama. Uh, we were going out to see two women, and uh, you were what? We were going. We were going to see two girls, and. Uh, we were both young like. And like a curtain sort a of thing? A curtain sense? job, a oh curtain job, yes. <laughs> well, well, hopefully, no way. <laughs> but uh, when I went in, uh, the director of the production, uh, the about drama circle, and uh, somebody hadn't turned up, so they were running slow, and he says, would you mind reading this, so we, we, you know, this part, and we'll get through it quicker. So I read it, and I enjoyed it, and then he said to me afterwards, I think they didn't have anybody for the part anyway, <laughs> but uh, he said to me afterwards, uh, do you fancy? Doing this, you know, and I said, yeah, and I get into it, and I loved it, and I still, I still love we it. With all the tapes and Horset and Dia Cynthia, that was that was number one for that, me in our house. That how, was, uh, how did that song come about? That is a very. I, I was down doing a show in the Royal Theatre in Castle Bar, mm. and I have a lot of friends down there over the years that I met through tours and stuff. Aye. And I was up in the bar talking to a whole load of them before the show, mm. and I looked the watch, and I said, look, I've got to go to the dressing room and get ready. And uh, two of the ladies that were there, a friend of mine, and one of them said to the other, she said, Horsa uh, Dintia Cynthia. Aye. Uh, which basically means drink up, we're going, Aye. you know. And uh, I said, well, what, what did she say? It said, Horsa Dintia Cynthia. Did you never hear that? I said, I often heard Horsa Dintia, but I never heard Cynthia. Cynthia. So uh, I, I, that stuck in my mind, and uh, on the way home that night, uh, I had the song sort of written. Cynthia, Cynthia, for you're the girl for me. You're the, you're the finest, finest looking filly that I did ever see. You're the onions in the burger, you're the sugar in me tea. So harsh it in the Cynthia, for you're the girl for me. Take it away now, Connell. Well, I met her oh, in the bar room in the town of Kilchamock. She was sitting at the counter, knocking double rockets back. She wore a low cut gansy and a skirt up of her knee. Says I horse it into a Cynthia, for you're the girl for me. All together. Ho! Horse it into a Cynthia, for you're the girl for me. You're the finest looking filly that I did ever see. You're the onions in me burger, you're the sugar in me tea. So horse it into a Cynthia, for you're the girl for me. Cynthia, if you're watching, I would love to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't prepared for all this no, I'm telling uh, danger you, and excitement. You've never done because you're I'm writing new plays and you're out on the road with new plays. Uh -huh. And I wrote a couple of books as well. You did? Myself and Rory, yeah. We had a lovely one. I was just going out for Christmas. It's called The Morpheus Banged Up Abroad. Very good. That, <laughs> that sounds like some sort of TV show. The title of that there, we could have another um, book of that next year. The next time we go back to Spain, David James and Connell Gallon Banged Up Abroad. And you know what we'll do? We'll do a carpool karaoke. <laughs> Connell, I think we should finish our carpool karaoke with another song. I think it has to be the end of show and favourite, Anna from Bunkrana. <laughs> what do you think? I, listen, she's been very good to me. And any, any guards listening, um, it, it was totally um, fiction. <laughs> I know where he is! <laughs> One, two, three! Her, Her name, name is Anna. Anna. Where's she from? She's from Montreal. Oh, yes, she is. And she's, she's a member of the guard of Shia Khanna. She's the pride of Temple Moor. Now she's up in Dublin for. And God help you if you're spoken marijuana. Let's hear the trombone there, Colin. <laughs> Take her away. Everybody thinks the country's gone ballistic. You just need to look at recent crime statistics. statistics. Right now, Connell, Sorry. give her the full welly the same. Are you ready? We're ready. Are you ready? Her name is Anna. 
she's from Bunkrana. She's a member of the Garda Shia Khanna. Oh, yeah. She's the bride. Yes, yes. I'm Anna from Bunkrana, and you're under arrest. Oh, big God. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not me. This is all your fault, David. If you hadn't a song, if you. Just from Montgrana. Oh yes she is and she's, she's a member of the Garda Shia Khanna. She's the pride of Temple Moor. Now she's up in Dublin four. And God help you if you're spoken marijuana. Let's hear the trombone there, Connor. <laughs>